So in this section, I'll be explaining to you how you can trade in XNS app using our signal. So the first thing to do is to open your XNS app. When you do that, the next you click on trade. You can see trade here. You click on trade. And then when you click on trade, initially this is what you're going to see. You have this. So for example, if you are giving you a signal that says buy USD JPY at zero sorry buy USD JPY at one three seven point six five two your take profit is one three seven point six eight zero and your stop loss is one three seven point six zero zero so this is how the signals will come so you're giving where you should make your entry from and you have put your TP or your target and your stop loss. So when you click on trade, you have this format, then the particular pair, which is what USD JPY. So you here you search for USD JPY, USD JPY. Okay, you click on it to open. Once it opens, it's supposed to show you a line graph. You can click on this. Okay, outer indicator, you see, this is a time frame where, they, where you are seeing 5M. It actually means five minutes. There are different time frames here. You see, one, this is one minute where you click on it, you see it's one minute, five minutes, 15 minutes, 30 minutes, and so on up to one day. Or as we rightly said in the previous video, that for, this, for the sake of our signals, we have to focus on the five minutes. So you have to leave it 25 minutes then. To change the line graph, you will say, I think, I don't know why it's not called, I guess it's network issue or something. But you have to click on this to change the line chart to candles. So if it's on light chart, you click here. And once you click candles, you're going to say, so the signal says you should buy. So you're going to click on the buy button. You know we have a cell here and then buy. So you click on the buy option. Then you put in the lot size. Remember we said that for a beginner, the recommended lot size you should be using is 0 0.01. But as you gain mastery and experience in the process, you can also use more than 0 0.01. So you click on this order. You click on this order and then you fill in your details. So this is, this is market order. Market, we already talk about what market order is. Because you are looking at the market, you are watching it, you want to execute the market instantly. So once the conditions are met, as regard to the signal, they said you should buy at what? You have to buy, you have to buy at, you have to buy above 137.652. So once that is met, what you need to do is you come here and put your you you type in your your take profit. When you type in your take profit, you type in your stop loss as well. And then they will be giving they will be, uh, for in this signal they will give you three targets. That is your target one, target two, and target three. You actually call it take profit. So that is TP one, TP two, TP three. So. But you have to focus on TP1 and TP2. In the long run, you will have to include TP3 as well. But since you are beginning, you have to just um, target TP1 and TP2. So after that, once all you've, you've placed everything according to what the signal said you should do, then you just click on confirm buy and your market will be executed as well. So, and if you will be busy, if you are using the pending, if you are using the, the pending order, so that is when you talk about buy limit or buy stop or sell limit or sell stop. So if you are, if you will be busy, you have to put it the same way it is given to you. Like if the market is buy as this, you have to ensure that price has got into that particular, um, that particular level where you are supposed to make your, or uh, execute your trade form. So you fit in the details where you want price to reach, put in your 
take profit as well as your what stop loss. Stop loss are very important. You should not forget before placing your order. They are very very important. Make sure you fill every detail that is given in the according to the signal. Then after that, you click on confirm buy. So once the all the criteria are met, then the market you can go to your whatever activities you're doing and then once all things are equal, the market will automatically execute the trade on your behalf. So I hope with this you can successfully trade using the XNS app. Thank you.